let's just start with uh, the highlight and the emphasize um, on the front page. This is unique to the front page and it is very much like sticky um, in that it will, when I have uh, my, my fresh list that I'm starting with, I haven't made any um, you know, order changes to it yet. When I come in and highlight an item, um, I can highlight multiple items at once, um, but what it requires is a page refresh. So you can either uh, in the moment refresh your browser, um, or if you click over to any other page and you come back here to the home page, you'll see that the change has been made. So I did that to the 816 league event. I highlighted that item. Um, there's two ways that I can tell that it's highlighted. One, now that now with the red and blue theme, we have that outline just like the purple and gold theme has. Um, and then the other, the second thing that tells us that it's highlighted is that the option to highlight has now changed to de-emphasize. Um, and then just like highlight uh, physically moved it up the list. When I choose to de-emphasize an item, if I do it to both, and let's just refresh immediately. Um, it's taking it now to chronological order um, only. So there's no uh, separate list of highlighted items that's sitting above the regular uh, de-emphasized items. And when it comes to reordering these items, um, you'll make your way to manage front page items. And <laughs> this is, yeah, this is the, well, aside from the subscribed content, this is one of the big parts um, that makes things a lot easier now to rearrange. As soon as you start rearranging um, any of these items up here in the list with the grabby handles, and uh, or if you make a change to the number of visible items there should be, even if you make this change only or just the rearrangement, um, as long as you are saving a customized order, the uh, system defaults are um, kind of, they're taking a back seat. So the, the biggest thing um, that gets affected there when you have a customized order saved is that highlight and de-emphasize will not physically move the item up or down. So let me go ahead and highlight 816 league event again. And when I refresh, we're gonna see the outline and we see that de-emphasize is there now. So that tells me highlight is enabled, but it didn't physically move up the list. Um, again, that's because I saved a customized order. So if I want to, let's actually, for the sake of it, have another one highlighted as well. Um, another example there that it doesn't physically move up, but it gives the other um, clues. If I want those uh, highlighted items to automatically rise back up to the top again, I have two options. Um, both of them will take place on the manage front page items. So I'm gonna make my way back there if I want to continue having just uh, my limited number of visible items, um, I can tell that, you know, I have extras that are being left in the dark for now uh, because I've customized the order. Um, if I want to make sure that I'm keeping that customized number, then I can simply rearrange these myself. Um, and then save the order. I'm not gonna click that yet um, because instead what I'll do is reset settings to default. So on the one hand, like I said, if I did save the order, it would not only um, require me to rearrange these manually, but it is also saving uh, the, the set number of visible items. But again, saving that customized order um, will require you to manually move up highlighted items if that's what you're 
wanting to see. The other option um, is to reset these settings to default. So this is going to automatically ra or raise the highlighted items up to the top of the list, but it's also going to set my number of visible items back to the total um, items that I have promoted to the front page right now. You said something about chronological order. Yes. Do you, do you mean that it's checking not the creation dates, but the date of the, um, like an event? Um, it is not checking, it is checking the creation date. Um, oh, so that's what we, we had so much trouble with, uh, because you had to make them, you, you had to edit the creation dates, so you don't, well, actually, let's double check because now that I'm looking at this, I think it is the um, like most recent update date, like oh. the last time it was updated. So oh. I'm going to open the front page for this same site, um, the 816 League event. I'm assuming I made this demo event before 816, but we have the submitted date here as March 5th. So let's double check that. So the update date is different from the creation date, right? Yeah, and yes. that would be, would be helpful that it was update date. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. No, it is the creation date. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it is the creation date. Okay, Sherry has a question. Does that mean we can just do our creation date or whatever as we will and then reorder them? Um, you, you have the total control over um, the order so that if you, you know, reset to default as I did here and it's going based off of the creation date, okay. then you can um, move things around as, as you'd like to see them. Um, the only thing is that you won't have, uh, you know, the, the most recently updated date, but you will have the creation date and the title and the type of, um, content that it is okay but you can always see if you go into the article or post you can see the most updated when you go into moderate and see what was the last thing you did but you don't need that to change that authorization date or creation date for the order anymore right you exactly can do it manually okay yeah that's a this big is, this is what that is kicking out we no longer yeah. need to worry about um editing the authoring date uh, yeah, authoring yeah. information yeah. anymore it's <laughs> a great thing <laughs> yeah awesome mary joe do you have a question so um before i knew that any change had happened i had uh, gone into my uh calendar and said, oh, I want to put, you know, two of these um, on the front page because they're mm -hmm. going to be next week. Mm -hmm. So I clicked them both to, you know, promote them to the front page. And I noticed that they weren't there. And so then, you know, I'm looking at your messages. And so what I did was I went to the, uh, that new thing about uh, the first one, managing whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And, and I just, used the handles, I guess it was very easy and, and just moved them around. I don't awesome. know about this, any other stuff about what you were explaining, but I mean, if I am, if I'm okay doing that, I think it's going to work, right? Yeah. No, you have it down. Right. I, it's probably, we're just going at it different ways, yeah. but you know, there's so many different ways that you can, you know, promote things to the front page or, um, rearrange things, uh, before you get to the actual front page and do things from here. So now, it used to be when we would make it sticky, I think that it, did it also make some, oh, you, you mentioned about these red boxes. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you wanted to really have something stand out. So how would I do just a regular um, article event, whatever my head at the zero spot, which is the first spot, is there a way to even make that even more noticeable? I, I don't know. There isn't an option outside of these. So the yes. emphasized or, you know, non-sticky items are just going to be as they were before and then sticky or highlighted so items. Go to take, go to take action on the third one and make that into a sticky. How would I, how would I oh. do that? Sorry, oh. let's go back. 
Um, so I'm on the home page and I want to make this item that's on the home page um, sticky or highlighted. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to highlight that item and just refresh the page. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so making sticky now is becoming highlight and highlight makes the box. Is that correct? Um, part way. It is, it is a little bit confusing, so I apologize for... You know, we're okay. adding we're adding vocab here. Yes. So sticky still exists in the system. Um, it is affecting every other list except for this one down here. So other lists include the slideshow, uh -huh. um, the articles, the action alerts, the positions, uh -huh. um, and the calendar. And I believe members only gets uh, affected by sticky as well. So all of these items, if you are making them sticky, then they're going to affect all of those lists that I just um, went over. But if you're making something highlighted, um, then it's only going to affect when that item is promoted to your front page. Ah, thank you. Definitely. And then the same, obviously, for the opposite. De-emphasize uh, only works here. And when you unstick something, um, you'll see the change on the other lists. And then one other thing that we haven't gone over yet um, is the fact that we can now promote subscribed content to our front page. So um, I'm already on my action alerts lists here. I made my way down to my subscribed action alerts list. And I can simply just go from here and start promoting and uh, highlighting it if I'd like. The other option too is if you don't see the one you would like to promote, you can always go to view all at the bottom of the list and then pick whichever one you'd like to see. So let's see about, there. let's promote the Dearborn, Dearborn Heights um, action alert. And let's see if we'll do two at once. So we're promoting and highlighting um, in the moment, the, the, the context menu updates, uh, but we won't see the physical change until we make our way there or refresh the page. And now I have that sitting up at the top because I made it highlighted. Okay, so um, we've thrown an article up there. Let's get, or an action alert, let's get some articles up here. Um, and then I can also poke around in a purple and gold site if you want to see that. Um, with the articles or, or action alerts, we're always going to scroll down to our subscribed list. Um, let's promote my league's convention. <laughs> I don't understand and... why you're, why are you emphasizing subscribed? Yeah, same question. And why, why am I well, we didn't know, I didn't know we had a subscribed anything but action alerts. I think you maybe- You subscribe to um, other leagues, action alerts, articles, um, events, and positions. Oh, Let's- Okay. Let, let me open that up actually before I jump back down. I'm going to go back to the homepage um, and let's show off where you can manage those settings, the subscription settings. Um, okay. whether in a new draft or edit the existing draft, but it's going to be in your homepage. And then scrolling past the body, um, oh. it's specifically the subscription section. Um, when you have a lot of group subscriptions, like I do in this demo site, what can happen sometimes is that down here, the drop down list gets a little uh, buried. So if I wanted to add a league here, um, I would just type out the entire name, then I can press enter. Uh, if you type a portion of the league's name, you're not guaranteed to get the one that you wanted. I was looking for demo local, um, and demo city probably would have dropped in even with demo local still having been in the results. Um, so that's just down at the bottom when you have a lot of subscriptions already. But otherwise, you can just scroll down the list and look for them. Um, so let me go ahead and save this, and we'll make our way over there. Um, 
one thing that the National League does on their site that we don't do um, on Milo is that they will keep action alerts, old action alerts sometimes up on their oh, yeah. um, site. And so we don't do that. We will, as soon as- You do still uh, have the one about getting rid of Trump. <laughs> well, it isn't technically here. Um, okay, good. <laughs> so there's a difference between the active um, action alerts and I'm going to visit the National League's um, okay. Milo homepage. Because okay. their homepage is a kind of a list of oh that and that you don't create that that's straight from all US. Of, uh, no, so these are the ones that we create. Yes, but these oh, are pinned. They're promoted to the front page here. Um, so that means that they are out of date. They are expired. Yeah. Um, because when we open this, we see that the date is probably sometime in January. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So by visiting their um, action alerts page, this is going to tell us all of the action alerts that they have that are active. And there are no current ones. Right. Hmm. What so what and that's what's showing up in our on our action alert subscribe pages, right? What is, I'm not the, sure. The nothing, <laughs> the nothing. Well, it depends on who you're subscribed to. So it's difficult to say, but if you're only subscribed to the US, then there will be no um, current action alerts. Um, so I'm on the articles page, just so I can get some of these um, articles onto the front page. Um, we can tell that multiple, almost all of them, um, they're made sticky. Um, when I'm on the articles list, and again, uh, specifically the subscribed articles list, the red outline tells me that it's sticky. When I'm on the front page, the red outline means that it's highlighted. So um, I'm going to go ahead and promote multiple items. So I'm promoting this Oakland article. I believe this one was already promoted. And let's promote Wisconsin's article. Um, just by looking at them, when I chose to promote them, it looks like all of them are uh, previously highlighted. So we'll see that um, when we get to the home page. Just, go down. just get back to, I'm gonna get back to the front page um, and play around with it some more. Um, and just get a lot of items up there. I have about 10 or so um, items that are promoted from my demo site. Um, actually, let's do this from the purple and gold site instead. I'm gonna work with demo local instead. And let's just get a bunch of articles up here. So right now I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I still have ten here, and they're all just from my own demo local um, site. Coming back up to uh, articles somewhere. I have it in news. Okay. So going down to the subscribe list, I'm just gonna go down the list and promote these all. Actually, um, we'll promote and highlight this one. I'd like to see that one more towards the top. And let's just do one more. Okay, so I've added about three or four. And let's go back home. And my list is still respecting the separation between highlighted and de-emphasized items um, because I haven't customized the order yet. So we see all of my highlighted items sitting at the top and then followed by all of my other stuff. But let's go ahead and customize this. I definitely want to see less, I wanna see fewer items um, 
and I want to disperse the highlighted items throughout. So just to make it easier for myself, I'm going to first set the number of visible items just to five, just pick that number at random. Um, but this, I would recommend if you're going to set the number of visible items, I'd recommend you start with that first and then save the order so that you have a visual on how many available spots you have. Otherwise you kind of have to keep in, in your mind, okay, there's seven there and okay, keep the count, you know? So this makes it a little easier. Um, once you start rearranging items, um, you'll get that same warning that you are used to on manage menu. It's just letting you know that everything that has an asterisk, uh, that change has not been saved yet. And when I'm moving uh, grayed out items up, then we know that how many ever grayed out items I have up in the list above, that's how many of the lighter items are going to be grayed out as soon as I save. And I'll save that order. And now I can jump back to my home page. Um, again, because I've customized the order, um, if I highlight something, and this is my own item, I can easily highlight it from the, cont the context menu. Once I refresh, it's still physically in its same position, uh, but it looks highlighted. It is um, outlined in that golden outline. And when we look at the context menu, we see that the option has changed, swapped to de-emphasize. And let's just de-emphasize everything. Now I can mimic, uh, I'm just going through and de-emphasizing everything that's towards the bottom of the list. So that in this way, even though this is a customized order, it does look as if I reset it or you know manually move this one up. Uh, but you have the option of de-emphasizing and highlighting with the order that is already set here on the home page, or you would go back to your administer leak site menu to manage them manually with the grab handles. Does anybody have any other questions about the front page, the new functions? Well, it's not a new, it's not anything to do with the new function, but on the front page, we've got, and I think every, it's sort of built in unless you don't want it, where it says contact us on the bottom. Um, and I just want to- Down here I, or? I, yeah, it's on where you are, but um, I don't, I don't know how to get rid of it with, because I was afraid to, because I thought it might affect the, you know, the one that's in the menu. I mean, I don't think it will, but. Oh, okay. I, it, I'm I just don't thinking... need it there. You might be referring to so way down, yeah. This one here, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, let me go ahead and actually masquerade as you because I see well, you not only what? that, oh, you but I what? also see this one here that I wanted. I, I would love to show how to fix. Oh, this. that's what was on my page. Yeah. So this has to do with our most recent update. Um, you don't wow. have to be worried. This is just part of the new function that we added. Um, We've seen that sometimes this can appear. So let me just masquerade as you. Yeah, it does. Um, it's the first part time I saw that. But all I need to do is reset the, the front page settings to default as we were doing here um, through manage front page items. So hopefully, there we go. I will masquerade as you, Mary Jo, and then I can jump right in there. And this is, um, it hasn't been a common thing uh, when we are seeing what, what I've been calling an empty listing. Um, yeah. Because the read more link, when we click on that, I'm going to open it in a new tab. Yeah, it was all kind of stuff. It is, yeah, it's kind of our, what is that called? Uh, it's a filler URL. So for it to end with slash node just means that the system couldn't find the specific item that it should be leading to. So it's uh -huh. going with the default. 
Well, did, that, did that mean that maybe I started something and didn't finish it? No, no. no. It is it is specifically um, with the with the new function, and um, it is just certain leagues uh, are getting it, and luckily we have a way to fix it. So oh, okay, all right. Um, so we're seeing that there, but all we need to do is manage front page items, and oh. down here. Oh, there it so is. This is its other, it. the other way that it looks, but we're just going to come down to the bottom to uh -huh. reset these to default. Okay, which and means my order is all, is my order going to be all gone? Yeah. yeah it will that. be different if you had it, um, if you had it customized, but have you already used the managed front page? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. sorry about that. But yeah. that's okay. It's not a big deal. It's easy to do. Um, yeah, we know how, I know, you know how yeah, to go back and do worried it. about that. But so we were going to get rid of the contact us. But what I also noticed was, so the last thing that was on our thing was the thing about the DEI. And so I noticed it's not there anymore. Is that because I can only have so many things on the front page or something? Um, it, no, it shouldn't be. As long as you have well, go promoted down, go it. all the way down because it's, keep going. Keep going because as long as you have promoted oh, there it, it is. Okay, I didn't is. see it before. Okay. But also, um, because you mentioned that you have already you customized the order. Did yeah. you did you um oh limit I, the number of items that might have been you know wanted. what? Maybe I didn't have it high enough. And actually, Mary Jo, now that I'm thinking of it, um you have the number set at 15. That empty listing was counting as one of those numbers. So mm -hmm. the DEI yeah. was pushed out as number 16. Right. So that's yeah. the reason okay. we're seeing it now. Understand completely. Awesome. Yeah. Um, and I think it came, I think it came in on mine yesterday right. when I eliminated an item, but didn't change the number or whatever. Cause it wasn't always there. It was like, after I finished, all of a sudden it showed up. So I think it's because I had eliminated an item. And while I have the stage, I'm sorry, but I just want to go ahead and ask this. Back before when you were limiting the number to five, then on that page, and I don't think we were on front mm -hmm. page, did mm -hmm. it say read more at the bottom or anything to indicate there were more articles? When you are limiting the number, it uh -huh. is just going to show that number. So it's not going to indicate to the visitor that there's more than five articles. Okay, okay. thank you. Mm -hmm. But those are, um, are on the other page, right? They will still be on the other page. So yeah, on, the on the front page, that you articles have. or um, action alerts, they'll still be living there. And then just to get back to Mary Jo's um, last piece before I forget, um, you know, the, the first step to make a change to that contact us page is just to get to editing it. So there's, you could go through manage content, you can go through the context menu and go directly to new draft, or we can click on the title and go to new draft. So there's multiple ways. Yeah, I was just afraid of affecting the other one, the real one over in the, in the menu part. Oh, gotcha. No, I'll go ahead and show you here. Um, when you start a new draft, um, those settings are separate from each other. So down at the very bottom, um, this here promoted to front page is what controls it in the list of French front page items. And then menu settings is what gives it a link in the menu on the left hand side. So we'll leave the menu settings alone. Um, but I'm going to oh. go ahead and un or there's a word for that, demoted. Oh yeah, um, I've been putting friend. unpromoted. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't have known this, okay. Yeah, so promote and demote um, is available here. And- I guess they would have tried it, experiment. And maybe. within managed content as well. Um, so let's just go back to the homepage. <laughs> um, now that we've demoted that, that contact us page that belongs to Dearborn, Dearborn Heights. Um, okay, obviously it's you. gone, okay. but then also, I just wanna show off that the manage front page items, um, the number has gone down. Oh yeah. Because I, as webmaster have said on, on the back end, you know, this one should no longer be promoted. So the number of visible items moves with that. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Liz, you're muted. Liz, you're muted. I got a telephone call. Okay, uh, so what's the default when you first start using this uh, functionality for the number of, of items? Is it what you currently have? Yeah, yeah that's your default. Um, and then as you keep adding, uh, it is going to just keep growing that number. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and switch back. But yeah, that is a good question. It, it's, it starts off with your current um, promoted items and whether you're adding your own league's um, content to promote or if you're promoting subscribed articles or action alerts, that gr both of those actions will grow your overall number. We used to have a 10 used to be the number. What, was that a fixed number or a suggested number on the front page, items on the front page? I believe that it was a kind of a suggested number okay. because the system did allow um, up to, I am having a hard time remembering if it, before it did allow up to 30 or if it oh. was just limitless, but now, um, just now to show it's you limitless. real quick, it is limited to 30 maximum. Okay. Now. Okay. Now. So uh, the minimum is one and the max is 30. Okay. Thank you. So mm -hmm. I've never used any of this functionality uh, because you've just given it to us. If I start <laughs> using it, will I start, Oops. <laughs> will I start well, getting these, these things, these aberrant <laughs> things on my homepage that I never saw um, before, like the other ladies have? No, the good thing, well, if we can find something good out of that kind of ugly thing, um, is that it happened when they pushed this to go live. So that was Wednesday. Um, so that's when folks started realizing, you know, there's something listed uh, that I haven't seen before. And that's when we just have to come in and reset it and then that's it it will not appear again it it is um just happening when we initialize this for every league okay so i don't need to reset it as the first thing i do to avoid it right i would say the first thing to do is take a look at your list and if you do notice there's something that uh has kind of a reddish background and it doesn't have a content name and just has a link to read more that leads to that weird page um then you'll definitely want to reset the settings okay because i don't have any now okay yeah no then you're all you're all set to leave it as is if you'd want but definitely as you start moving things around and working with the new functions um it'll be as expected you won't won't see that empty listing pop up great thank you definitely um and then one thing that we didn't really go over but um well, I can go ahead and test now. Uh, when you remove a subscription, we should see the promoted subscribed items fall off of your front page. So we're just going to try that out with California. I'm going back to my subscription settings. And I believe, well, it's, I think it was articles. So we'll remove articles. Give myself a little note. And because I made a change to the subscriptions, I do need to publish that. <laughs> and now I'm just back to my own links items. Um, I might have mentioned this before, but even if you don't have subscribed items, you still are using highlight and de-emphasize for um, the items on your homepage. I think they should have said emphasize and de-emphasize. I, I, highlight and de-emphasize is... Yeah, the, the terminology, I, I feel like we could always have a, a full day's discussion and I would be <laughs> active on that for sure. <laughs> um, 
yeah, that is one that I, I will I will make a note of because like landing and front page was another thing that you know we kind of had that idea as well. So it to like emphasize, oh, go ahead. I was just going to clarify. De-emphasize is the highlight, the the box. Is that correct? Right. So if we're um, differentiating, I would say that this one here is mm -hmm. de-emphasized. Right. And then this one here is highlighted. Right. And they are the synonymous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're they're uh, pretty much the same setting. It's just a matter of enabling it or disabling it. Mm -hmm. um, I think if you the human interface courses anybody takes <laughs> would, would <laughs> nick, nix that right away the way they've implemented it. I <laughs> I just <laughs> show you know, us again you know, how to get it off of the front page. Uh, you, that's the, the other thing. Is that removed from landing? What was that? Um, I will need to promote some more subscribed content. So right okay. now I only have my demo local and I'm working in demo local. So this is my own league stuff. Okay. In order to demote um, these items, mm -hmm. I would have to create a new draft. Oh, well, what's so this de-emphasize on the front page? This is the outline. So I de-emphasize. Oh, so it's still it on the front page, but it has no outline. Oh, I'm glad we brought that up. <laughs> okay. So I only demoted right now earlier, I demoted or I unsubscribed myself from California's articles. So that mm -hmm. was the reason why they got removed from the front page. Okay. But let's go ahead and add some back so that we can um, remove those as well. So let's add some action alerts to which I have no current ones. That one's good though. All right, let's see. Oh, it is already promoted to the front page. I will have to ask because this is an expired. If expired action alerts do in fact uh, appear on the front page, they may follow the same rules that our system does. So was it okay. on the front page? Oh, you would you would unsubscribe so it didn't show. Okay. No. So I unsubscribed to California. This is the National Leagues. And mm -hmm. my belief is that so it's not appearing on the front page, but my belief is that the front page is obeying um, the action alerts rule that they should be under a time range. Oh. Um yeah, it's it's not listed here. So I'm going to because. double check that with our tech team. Okay. Um, but I'll go ahead with the articles. Just get some up there. Am I not subscribed? I'm sorry. I did not subscribe to any good <laughs> leagues for either one of these. Does anybody, well, I know Dearborn, Dearborn Heights has action alerts. So, um, here we go. Uh, does anybody have another league that they know has current action alerts? Well, I, I probably do. Let me. Okay. Um, we. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about, it, I know Barb does too. Okay. So I've added a few different leagues to my action alerts so that I can have a good bit to choose from. And then I added back my California subscriptions. And publish and save. I'm glad I'm the only webmaster, so I appreciate my own terrible notes. Okay, so now I just simply added subscriptions. My list on the front page looks exactly the same because I've only told the system, follow these groups for these content items. Uh, but now I need to tell the system, I specifically want this item and this item on my front page. So we'll start out with the articles. I'm gonna come down to the subscribed list and let's just do a bunch of these. So we'll promote 
and just promote these only. We have one, two, three. Okay, and let's do hopefully three action alerts as well. Awesome. All right. We have the Michigan uh, action alert and a couple of Illinois alerts. And all I did simply was promote them. I didn't worry about highlighting just yet, even though you definitely can highlight them from this page. So if you know one that is going to be super important and you want to do it right now, highlight that in the moment. Um, and then as soon as we come back to our home page, you should see all of those in the list. So I have my, oh. You don't need to refresh? No, because I came back to my home page. So let's okay. let's try it again. Okay. So I'm just going to double check that when I come back to these, they are listed as demote. Okay. You might have just stumbled upon a little bug. Do you, a, do you have a limit to how many you have on the front page? Oh, good thinking. Thanks, Mary Jo, because <laughs> I think that that is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so definitely, um, yeah, think like Mary Jo, don't think like me and jump to conclusions. <laughs> <laughs> remember that this is one of the other functions so um yeah i can i think what i'm just going to do is reset to default because i did add quite a few items here um and then as we know our highlighted items just float uh once we reset so let's actually um instead of highlighting items first i'm going to stay on this page and first set the number of visible items again, uh, this time to 10. And again, doing that first so that it'll be easier for me to rearrange stuff. Um, okay, and, and my, my goal here is to have all my subscribe stuff um, towards the top and then my demo local stuff will start all underneath that. So I have my Dearborn, uh, Dearborn Heights, action alert here at the top, followed by the two from Edwardsville area, and then three California articles, followed by four other items from my league. So let's go ahead and save that and jump back. Am I demo local? Yes, demo local, jump back to my homepage. All right, so now the highlighted item, I, dra I drug that all the way down here. Um, but just to make things up at the top look as important as I think that they should be, I can go ahead and highlight a couple of these. Um, and you can do that right from the front page. Mm -hmm. yeah. And once you, I, I'm just refreshing with my browser and that's um, then revealing the little outline. Um, again, because I customized the order, I, I clicked save order. If I highlight items that are down in the middle of the list, they're gonna stay there. Did, didn't you just highlight something and it, did it change? Or do you have to- These uh, items that highlight. I highlighted earlier, they're sitting at the top of the list already. Yeah, but I thought you just clicked another one and I didn't see any change, not that, or maybe that wasn't, okay. I'm and these ones here, I did highlight okay. and they didn't okay. I Okay, I didn't see a change, okay. And actually I can work with the list. Um, let's go back to reset the settings to default so we could show the difference again between, um, between the two. So right now I have a, a customized order because last time I came here, I saved the order, but now I'm going to leave it as default. And, and this will be the last thing I did when I came to this page, I've reset the settings to default. And default makes the highlighted ones first. Yes. And, that, and, and those are in order of creation date. And then the other ones that are not highlighted are also creation date when you set that default. 
Correct. Okay. Yeah. It, it, we can, I don't know if it's a, a, a good uh, example, but it, you know, maybe kind of like uh, when you're in an airplane, there's, um, there's coach, but the, the order is definitely has nothing to do with the airplane analogy. Um, but when things are highlighted or yeah, yeah. Um, they're, imagine they are added to first class. So they're always going to be above uh, right, the right, coach right. group. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have the highlighted group now at the top because I just reset. Um, and when I come back to, right, to change the, the number. And it, and it also changes the number. Yes. Thank you. Um, yeah. Let me point that out because previously when I saved the order before I had manually set this to 10. Right. So now by resetting to default, the number of visible items goes back to the total number of items I have promoted to the front page. And when I say I, I just mean any Web league master. webmaster of my league. Um, so we have now all the highlighted items at the top and my list has grown to the total of 17 promoted items. Um, but because I have my settings, uh, set to default, as soon as I highlight something, we're going to see it jump up the page. Um, so it was, I'm still sitting in its original position. It was down here and now we should see it somewhere near the top. Um, the, as we were saying before the creation date, um, it dictates the order of these, but now um, you can easily see that creation date on the manage front page items. Um, the creation date is, you know, not really as important anymore because you have a way to manually move these around. Um, but the creation date can be helpful if you want that to be its default. Yeah, so creation date is default. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. gotcha. um, yeah. So other than that, like if I want my league love letter to be above, if I'm making one simple change You've and I save, save the it. order, that's enough for it to be a customized order. And right. that's telling the system not to follow the default settings. Gotcha. Um, so once I come back to my front page, I, you know, to my own mm -hmm. eye, all of the highlighted items are still sitting at the top of the list. Um, it looks as if it's behaving as default, but once let's try it with this. Once I highlight anything, whether subscribed or my own and I refresh, it's going to move. It does not move. So oh, that's it did not move. when you customize an order, it oh. is going oh. to remain in its, uh, the highlighted items will remain physically in their same position. Um, okay. But they will get that outline. Okay. Uh, but if you wanted them to move up, you could either do default or manually move them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. 